Hello! I am going to do something a bit different today. I have taken things in my own hands and I've got the camera sitting in front of me and I'm going to try and film a recipe myself. Um, I hope it works out. It's because I was going to bake a cake today and I really thought that that's a great recipe to share with you. So um, I'm going to give this thing a go. So let's get baking. So before I share the recipe, a very quick note to please go and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and don't forget to press on the bell button so every time I post a recipe you'll get a notification so basically you don't miss out on any recipes. Um, moving on, what am I baking today? So I am going to do a Maltesers cake. Yes, you heard it right, it's a Maltesers cake and I am going to bake some gorgeous soft layers of sponge and I'm going to put lots of lovely buttercream in the middle some chocolate and I'm going to finish it with some bread not bread biscuit crumbs um, and also Maltesers of course to start off I have got four eight inch cake tins and I have greased them first and then lined them with some baking paper here I've got all the ingredients ready. 250 grams of golden caster sugar. If you can't find golden, then just use plain caster sugar. 250 grams of self-raising flour, 250 grams of unsalted softened butter, and five large eggs. Um, I'm gonna put all of these in my stand mixer. With that goes in two tablespoons of milk, one and a half teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of vanilla extract because basically this is going to be a lovely vanilla sponge. Whisk this for two minutes and this is looking gorgeous and creamy and I'm going to put it in the prepared tins. These are looking really good and I've spread them as evenly as possible in the cake tins and they're ready for the oven. It's now in the oven at 180C for roughly 20 minutes, 15-20 minutes, but we'll have a check. Here I have got 250 grams of dark chocolate and I'm just pouring 400 ml of double cream which I brought to a boil, just boil and here are the four sponges which are just cooling down and i'm going to make a ganache of this moving on to the buttercream i have got 400 grams of unsalted butter and i'm just going to cream it up for at least three to four minutes um, and it's nice and loose look how creamy it is looking it's fluffy creamy um, and i've got exactly double the amount of icing sugar here which is 800 grams and i'm going to start uh, mixing this on a very low speed and i'm going to add the icing sugar quite slowly into it and as it gets a bit thick um, I'm going to add two to three tablespoons of milk to this, but not all together. I'm going to add little at a time and then keep, um, keep whisking this uh, for another four to five minutes till we have a creamy, lovely buttercream. While our buttercream is getting ready, I have got around 10 digestives in here, digestive biscuits, and I am going to just roughly ground them into a fine powder and then add it to our buttercream. The cakes have cooled down completely and I'm going to take them out and place them um, on a cake stand exactly um, and I'm going to put the our chocolate ganache first so I've put it in a piping bag 
and I'm just going to spread it on top of the cake and you have to let the ganache cool down otherwise um, your buttercream will start melting so make sure you do that first we're going to have a thin layer of ganache on top first and I'm going to gently spread it on top of the cake into a smooth layer just smoothing down the ganache on top and just to make sure that it doesn't smudge with the um, buttercream which will go on it next I am going to put it in the fridge um, in the freezer actually for exactly five minutes to set it up quickly moving on um, the ganache is very slightly set um, I've got our buttercream in the piping bag and I am just going to put a thin layer of this buttercream on top of the ganache and then very gently spread it evenly you don't want a very very thick layer otherwise it's gonna get too sweet so just a decent thin layer of the buttercream will be enough that is nice and smooth and I'm going to get the other layer of cake now this is going to go on top of the buttercream and very very gently press it down um, and repeat with all the four layers I've got all the four layers on and what I'm going to do is I've got lots of buttercream still left. I am just going to give it a very very rough crumb coating and once the cake has crumb coated I am going to leave it in the fridge to set for an hour or so. So the cake has been crumb coated and if you know me I don't like to spend loads and loads of time um, decorating the cake so I've done a very rough crumb coat and now it's going to go in the fridge for a minimum of an hour to set and then I'm going to finish it. I hope the video is doing its thing. Oh can't wait to wait to watch the finished video. And here is the cake. It's nicely set and it's going to be easy to work with this now because it's set and I'm going to do another layer of uh, buttercream on this. So I'm just going to put lots more buttercream on the top and um, if you want you can give it a naked cake look which will work beautifully as well. Uh, but today I'm not trying to do that so I'm just going to put more buttercream on top and then I'm going to smooth it in out a little bit And here I have got uh, five to six um, digestive biscuit and I'm going to crush these uh, roughly and then coat it on the cake. And then just use these crumbs um, and then coat the... It's going to be a messy thing to do but it will work. Yep, that's what I mean. Just roughly coat the sides and moving to the next step. And then to finish off the Maltesers or any chocolates you want. And I'm going to start from the outside um, and then basically cover the top of the cake with these chocolates. And here it is, the Malteser cake is ready. 
can I just say how good this looks? It's so simple, but it does look stunning and quite a centerpiece for a celebration cake. And time to dig in. I don't know where to cut it from, so I'm just gonna go in. Whoa. Just look at that slice of cake. And here it is, the Maltese cake. And can you just see all the layers? God, it's looking good. And as always, I have to give it a taste test. Oh, it's amazing. Um, it's got its own lovely flavor because the buttercream has got lovely flavor from the biscuits. The ganache is balancing the sweetness, so it's not sickly sweet. I promise you that. Um, it's amazing. Hope you'll give it a go, and I am very sure that you're going to let me know about my videography skills. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thumbs up, subscribe. See you next week for a brand new recipe. I will get the kettle on and I'm going to go through this slice of cake myself. Bye.